Hello, hello, you guys. I hope you all are having an amazing day. So I'm going to come at you hot and quick with this episode. Um, something I wanted to start doing, I think I've mentioned it before, but um, it's here, is I've wanted to start recording these like little rants, these little like golden nuggets to keep you going strong, to keep you going after your goals. Like sometimes we just need to hear one thing right? Sometimes we don't need the 30 minutes. We don't need the hour long episode, but we just need like one thought. Truly, there are so many times in my day that it's, it might just be one thing I hear from a podcast or one thought that like jump starts my day. One thought that I put in my journal or something that I keep repeating over and over to myself. So I've got some mini rants for you guys. Okay. So this one is, it's worth it. This concept, I want you to hear me on this and, and say it to yourself and embody this concept for when the hard times come, for when it feels really challenging, when it feels really sticky, when you like, just want to like throw in the towel and eat the comfort food and sit on the couch and watch Netflix and you want to have the dessert and then you want to say, you know what, oh, F it, like forget it. Like now I'm going to have more dessert and just going to like go whole hog for the whole weekend or the whole day because of one little slip up thing. So anyway, the idea is that the goal that you have, the vision that you have, what you really want is worth it. It is worth it to say no in the moment when we are feeling the feels, when it feels uncomfortable, when we feel like we have these cravings and we have these urges or we're tired or whatever and we want to say, no, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll start that tomorrow or it. this little bite. This little thing won't matter. This doesn't make, it's just one thing. Like this is not a big deal. Stop right there. Like hear my words in the moment and replay this podcast. If you need to every single day to start your day or in the middle of your day to hear me, I'm literally talking to you right now. And I know you have these moments because I have these moments too. <laughs> and if I'm out here like getting after my goals, I want you to be able to do the same thing. And we all just have this human brain that it, it that says, it's just one. Like it just, our brains are here to keep us safe, comfortable, as safe and as comfortable as possible. To keep us at the same weight we've been at forever because that's comfortable and that's safe. So instead, I want you to hear me and to know that making the choice that you really want and that you plan for, that that's the right choice and it is worth it, okay? Your goal, your dream, your vision is worth saying no in the moment to whatever it is that you feel like you want to do or is the comfortable thing to do, is the thing you most likely have always been doing, right? Like going to sit on the couch when you should be going for a workout. It's the end of your day. You don't feel like working out when it feels uncomfortable to ask your partner to watch the kids or, you know, to hang out with them or for them to make supper instead of you so you can go do your workout for you to like have the kids at after school daycare or to put them in daycare for the hour at the gym so you can go work out. That feels a little itchy, scratchy, feels a little uncomfortable, feels easier to just, ah, I'll just, I'll do my workout later. I'll do it tomorrow, right? I'll start on Monday. I'm telling you right now, kibosh that bullshit. You know it's bullshit. I know it's bullshit. I'm calling you on it. Call yourself on it. Like you can, that can just literally be me. You can be like, okay, thank you, Samantha. Like, thank you for calling me on my bullshit. I know the goal that you want and the dream that you have and the vision that you have. And if you just do the thing in the moment, then you will get your result. Hear me. If you do the things in your day to day, 
There is absolutely no way. I love, um, I've been listening to Alex Hermosi so much. He would say it was unreasonable for you to not achieve that result. If you decided to like not have the dessert every single day or have the huge portion of it, I give my clients the guidelines on how you can have all the foods, but like whatever it is for you, that the plan that you very consciously set up for yourself, follow through with those things. Even if it feels really hard and uncomfortable with the moment, I'm telling you it's worth it. And I want you to hear that from like me, from this outside source to replay this as much as you need to. So when you're in those moments, because they're going to come up, right? There, there's just no question about that. There's going to be these opportunities where someone brings donuts to work, where your partner is like, hey, let's go out for wine and pasta. And like, that's what you guys always do on your date night. And so it feels a little uncomfortable to say, let's do something different, or I'm not going to have pasta tonight, or I'm only going to have one glass of wine. Like that feels a little uncomfortable. And I'm here to tell you, your goals, your vision, your dream is worth it. It's worth it to stand up for yourself. And this doesn't mean in some, you know, mean way to anybody else or mean way to yourself. Like, like you better do this or else. No, be nice to yourself and be like, my vision, my dreams, our goals are worth it. This is going to be so freaking amazing. I'm not going to eat this today because I want to have this body that I want tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day and six months from now, Right. So I really want you to sink in. And when the opportunity comes and you start to negotiate, this is when you know, right? Like when the negotiations happen in your brain, well, what's the big deal? It's only one more, or it's not going to make that much of a difference. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it later. We all know that slippery slope road. And I'm telling you, just, just say no to that. Flick that little thing, that thought away, push it away and say, nope. This is my plan. This is what I've committed to doing. I'm going to show up and do this. Now, having said that, I will give a little caveat here for you guys to know, like, I tell my clients, like, you can be B students. You do not have to be an A plus student here to get shit done. So if that means you are literally tired, you've had a long day. Okay, fine. Instead of doing the 60-minute weighted heavy workout you plan for, go for a walk for 20 minutes. Or just show up, get on the stairs, go to the gym. If all you end up doing is, you know, 15, 20 minutes of walking because you really, truly were that tired and that's all you, like, you could do, fine. But still show up for yourself. I call this the do something principle. Like, just do something. I'm not saying like, okay, fine. Like if like you skip the dessert then or something, or like you, you, there's pasta, have like a fourth a cup of pasta and then ask for broccoli that fills your freaking plate and the protein and the chicken that fills your freaking plate. You can still have a date night, but there's, you can do something. You can do something to still go towards your goal and make the change versus just throwing the hands up and saying, well, I'll just this one meal, I'm just going to go all out and start the next day. We know where this leads. This does not lead to results. Okay. So stick with it. Do what you plan to do and know, know from the deepest place that it's worth it. Because you will get your results if you decide and stay committed to doing the things day to day. Even if you don't see it, the day to day changes. But if you do those things day to day, it would be unreasonable. It would be ridiculous to not achieve the results that you want in six months, in a year, in whatever amount of time that it takes. But if you do the things, there's no way you don't get results. Okay? So I just want you to hear me today, replay this episode as much as you need to make sure you have this top of mind that you know the choices you make in the day-to-day, the small sacrifices or things you give up, like, which really we could argue, are they even sacrifices? (laughs) Like for me, I'm like, okay, so I don't have some chocolate or sweets in the afternoon every day. Big effing deal. Like, no, that's not a sacrifice. That like, I'd much rather have some abs or be popping a little bit like than having the chocolate. It was just a habit and I just got used to it and it was frivolous. So guess what? What are those for you where you've just gotten in the habit 
you're just going through the motions, doing the things, you're just comfortable. Like you can have what you want and it's really not even that big of a deal to like let some of those habits go. And I would invite you to start to change your thoughts around that. That is what we do in coaching together is we look at like, okay, well, what thoughts are you having that serve you or that don't serve you to getting this goal? When I switched my mindset and I was like, my goal is worth it. This is what I want. And like, I didn't, I didn't even want the sweets and desserts in the afternoon. I was like, girl, like I want my results. That's what I'm hungry for. Okay. This gets about a little bit of a tangent here. So going back to it's worth it, your goals, your dreams, your vision, it's worth it in the moment to give up, to sacrifice, quote unquote, whatever it is, that small little thing that you're giving up to go after your dreams and goals, you will create the result. All right, you guys, I love you and I will see you again soon.